What's up, y'all? Got a family fee, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Bandman Kevo, CJ So Cool, only got rich because of royalty kids. Is what he said. Let's get into it. Um, CJ So Cool. Um, oh my God. You know what I mean? A lot of people have been sending me videos and shit, talking about, um, basically, they saying that, you know, damn, bro, you know, we know CJ got the loan, you know, and he got a few million dollars he had to pay back and stuff like that. <clears throat> but to be honest, though, me knowing the insides of what's really going on, you know, the real reason um, I feel like, you know, these companies really even gave him the loan is because they feel like maybe he was going to rekindle his relationship with royalty. And by him rekindling his relationship with royalty, they was like, OK, well, they was basically saying that. By him rekindling his relationship with royalty, he was going to be able to, you know, possibly make the money back. But all those problems started happening. Royalty knew he got the money. What he did was he Is bought chains for the kids, brought royalty, like this little cheap ass Hellcat out of all the money that they got. And that's when things went left because royalty was looking at it like, well, these are my kids. You know what I mean? And that's for all the confusion for all the people that don't really know. It's the loan that royalty felt like she was at least, should have got at least half of the money that, um, that was disputed to them. And that was the problem that broke out because we all know when it comes to CJ, he feels like he's... <clears throat> the majority of the money he should kept. And, but, hey, but when look, he got hey, the money... Up, when, when, yeah. Look, though, in the comments, now, they right. CJ name was... he. I was just talking about this. He did already establish himself on YouTube and all that before he went to them. He just added them all to his channel, remember? He was already CJ so cool. So he kind of added to them, and when he added them on there, that's when it jumped to the, to the millions of subscribers because it was all kids. No, for sure, that's what I'm saying. But the, what the real bad came from was what when he was what he was doing with the kids, though. You know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah. So, 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 basically, so, 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 you know so, 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 what I mean? So, so. Like you got to outside and look in and see what's going on. So I don't think CJ really wanted to be with royalty like that, but he felt like he still needed her for the kids' purposes. <laughs> No, of course you know he I mean? Because without without the kids, you see what you see right now. He don't even got a show no more. It, it, soon the kids, like I told you, soon they soon that's gone, it's all over with. Because that's what the whole shit was about. Yeah. So I mean, you know, CJ, he on there basically saying like, okay, well, um, the kids, this and you know, I seen a little stuff about the girl saying it. Uh, what you think about that? The, uh, the little girl saying that CJ um touched her type shit. I mean, me being around them and this and that, and knowing how royalty and her mama don't get down and coaching them kids and doing all that shit. And they ain't getting none of that bag when he sold that channel. You know what I'm saying? We know the whole little shit, how that went. Which uh, We was telling CJ, like, they do deserve it. He sold 70 percent of that channel for $3 million. He's supposed to gave them at least a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he at least gave them that. But then that's what he told us, that they used to complain about even filming. They really never wanted to do it. But I feel like, I feel, also feel like they, I also feel like they could have gave them, hell, at least 500000 If you ain't want to give up a million, she would have been able to do something with that. Like, why wouldn't you give her no money? I wasn't motivated because... But that man just said he he was, uh, she was coaching the kids. He was controlling all the finances and he was being the way he was being. So if it was my kids and I got this dude, you know, controlling everything and barely want to give us anything, I probably feel the same way. I mean, and Batman Kevin don't even take care of his damn kids. He owed them kids. Loyalty, that my kids, and she was on the channel too. So when he got the when he got the big one, I think that's why he's freaking out right now. Because like D Lo just said, now who closer to him than D Lo? And the way he did D Lo is ridiculous. Yeah, one so, person that know all the secrets is D Lo. D Lo, yeah, he got some nerve everything. talking about uh D Lo because I still I got love for CJ, but and CJ a good person, but I think he just losing it. Like he he blames uh D Lo for taking one hundred twenty thousand, and you know like I know he blame he everybody. He blames he ain't, he ain't touch no money. He noticed when he talks, he he don't take no accountability. He says, well, when I got the loan, if I wasn't hanging out with people, now, who were now, talking about like now, mind you, he was buying them kids everything. That's way before this loan money. See, they been having money, so they been getting shit. This that 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 loan and all that shit came when they was already breaking apart. So it was like it was like I don't know if he was kind of smart about getting rid of it because the channel was gonna go down anyway because the kids was leaving. He knew that. Yeah. No, but you gotta think he also was making a few hundred thousand dollars a month off of the YouTube channel for them. So by buying them everything, which they deserved everything. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they Hold on. <laughs> he was smart to get that loan. What he did with it was the dumb shit. Bro, you could have made bread from anything. Anything. Money really. He really yeah, just he should thousand. be making money from Snapchat now though. That's they mama fault though. If you're getting three hundred thousand dollars a month, four hundred thousand dollars a month, the kids still should get half. So, bottom everything, what does that consist of? 
You know what I mean? I wish I would have stole 500000 from him. He really should have gave me two hundred. Nigga saved his whole career because he been doing a little shit with these prostitutes and all that. Yeah, like, like, he got he got to control himself. Yeah, Big Al stole his money. I ain't stealing no money from that boy. He's the one nah, telling him what to really. Nah, that's, 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 that's what it was, though, bro. When he took the loan, right? Let's say if they said, look, we'll give you $2 million on your channel. But if we're going to give you this money up front, we want three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000. And him being so thirsty for the money, what happened was he took it not thinking because he was so thirsty and money hungry. In his head, as soon as he got the money, he went on the shopping spree. He went to buy jury. He wanted to go buy this. He went. Also, you know he competes. So and he's, he's lying on something too. Not to keep cutting you off, but I I've been watching this. I know you were on the airplane. He claimed that he wasn't. None of his friends told him when he sold the channel what to do with the money. Like I was there. You told him like, all right, get yeah. If you're gonna sell a channel, create another channel, nigga. Hello. Or create another channel with the kids, nigga. Or Hello. Some kids. If those kids leaving, nigga, you better add some kids to your shit. And he tried to do that. He tried to go get his daughter from Indiana. That shit didn't work. Didn't work. It didn't work. He tried to, even even I was like, man, you should go get an agency. You should do this and do that. You can't, but this this thing about him, all them distractions. You have to think he's so distracted, even if he did want to go do something, he was so distracted by what royalty had going on, about girls, by this, by that, trying to keep up with other people. You know what I mean? Like he was he was too like into other things versus trying to really make his bag. Cause he only like every time you talk to him, he'd say, This all I know, all I know how to do is this. It's like he didn't even really want to learn nothing else. So shit, that was his own problem. He did. I ain't fucking with CJ on 32s, how he come out of me. Cause to be honest, when we came around CJ on 32s, he was a little car guy, but he didn't have money like y'all. He wasn't playing with money like CJ and this and that. And I watched you and CJ in CJ he's so cool house coaching that boy how to go get go how to Oh, Damn, we can't hear. These niggas keeping it real, though. God damn. He's in competition, in the competition, which he into it. Y'all ain't into it over no money or no back and forth shit like that. We just know that he he acts, he's a funny acting ass friend. He's always been weird ever since we came around. He's in competition, in the competition, which they want. So yeah, now that he know that your money's still elevating, he feel like he's declining. So he feel like, because I just heard him, he feel like you gonna clown him and be like, I guess he's seen a little post about, uh, you saying that the reason why he went broke, so he offended, feeling like why would he? He shouldn't be talking about it. He shouldn't be saying nothing. He just been waiting on me to go broke. Like nigga, who the fuck sits around and wait on their friends to go broke? Yeah, right. I don't give a fuck if he was rich or broke. At the end of the day, you gotta think. When I first came around, it was like he was asking me, "How should I do this? How should I do that?" And I told him, "It ain't like I don't like this." Is my thing, it don't matter. He can make a lot of money now. My thing is though, I always look at niggas like this. Whatever you got going on, if you don't got four, five, six, or seven incomes, most likely that shit ain't gonna last forever. That's why it'd be funny when he was big headed with that weak ass loan. I knew for a fact that that shit was going to run out, just like like anything else. Like, if you're only just doing that one thing, that shit's going to go low, then you're going to look stupid anyway. Well, they, well, what happened to their little car rocker run? They, was going, they, they made a lot of money off that shit. Yeah, but the thing is, though, the way that, uh, like, the way how CJ do things, he just, he's more for, like, more for what he's himself, you know what I mean, with that shit. So he wants to be the biggest and the best at everything. So if he's not the biggest and the best at it, he don't want to do it type shit. You know what I mean? So at the end, like, as far as with that, he just, I don't know, bro. Like I said, the only thing he was when 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 uh, Al came around and he was talking about the loan shit. That's so, all. So let me let me ask you this because I, I I I heard see that. How did it go from two hundred thousand? When remember when Al had the two hundred thousand for nothing? So that's not Al. How did it get to five hundred? Be okay, so okay, this this how this shit work. If you bring one of these YouTube niggas a a a, a, a advance, right? You bring in them in them advance. Say if it's two million dollars, there's commissions in that money. So when bro brought him that loan he got paid off of that loan and plus the interest he has to pay back so cj probably got two million but probably owed them people almost 2.6 2.7 million dollars that he got in advance and knowing that like like why would you take the money knowing that you have a problem with your girl you have a problem with these kids shouldn't have took that money like you're just doing a little bit of everything you know what i mean like for some, and then after that you start getting mad at everybody oh, saying, man, oh, that man, came around complaining about royalty and them kids before he did that so to me I think I think it was a smart move, and I, I know he did it on purpose and not giving them no money because he already had players on like separating himself with them. He know royalty, he's like he couldn't take it no more. He's telling us all they've been is like the bitch worshiping the devil and the mama worshiping the devil and they preaching this shit to the kids. And he already know he's gonna leave. And when he made his exit, he sold that fucking channel. And I think I don't the shoes and all these investments the white girl got him doing. I don't know if like it ate up to three million and now he don't got it and he's trying to figure out how to get the channel back. I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's definitely going through something. Yeah. Man, I don't know what's going on with the man. But why I mean, why he bring yeah. you up though? Like he said, he said a little shit. He said, he said like, this, this my thing about this. This my thing. Every I feel like every time a nigga say something, right? It's like he'll say his friends, then he end up bringing my name into it, knowing that I know too much about the nigga. And it's just like, bro, 
like I said, don't say nothing about me because I know too much about you. I can make a video about you every fucking day and really go deep. You see, you know all the hoes we know. Remember when we was in Cali, bro? Remember when me, me, you, him, and we was all in Cali and yeah, the nigga when was I, when I his ass when he's nothing prostitutes telling them. Yeah, and they, and, is bound. <laughs> and like, bro, please, bro. And I, we would have never, I would have never came. To, I would have never another than her if I wouldn't came down here with you. And you know, and then talking about like, bro, um, I'm hungry, bro. And we like shit. We can go to get Uber Eats or something like that. And the nigga like, whoa, bro. I usually have royalty make my food and just uh, listen, got, like shit. About why Kevo make a video about CJ first. No, he did. CJ said some wild shit the other day out of nowhere. Yeah, he been saying shit. Thirty two and brought Kevo up for no reason and shit. Talking about a scam. Yeah, bro. like bro. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like if if, if, if a nigga that's just like a nigga called me a scammer. That's just like me saying everything that he didn't done is a scam, basically. Literally. That's, that's just like royalty and I'm talking about he a pedophile. <laughs> I definitely think this nigga, um, Bandman is absolutely a um he got some scammer, uh, some scammativities going on for sure. Um, I think everybody got some scammativities going on in certain shit that they do. Um, that I guess they ain't supposed to do, so to speak. Um, what I'm just trying to say is Ben McKeever ain't no better than CJ, to be honest with you. But he gonna keep a bag. The nigga gonna keep it back. Or whatever now. Yeah, that just means me and I can just sit on. I can just sit on the fucking platform and say, well, CJ, so CJ, uh, so cool is a pedophile. He's a pedophile. Like, literally on every platform I get on, I can just literally say the nigga pedophile. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just like, they don't want they don't want that, do they? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like... Then all, all y'all keep saying that too. Not to get on my uh, podcast shit enough, but all three of y'all keep saying, like, like CJ on 32 just told that nigga, man, I know so much. I'm, I'm about to woo with this net. And CJ, so cool, just told him, nigga, I know about, I know all y'all business, and I could be exposed. Like, what is that to expose? Well, man? please, well, expose my business, please, because I don't <laughs> like, care. It's like, my business already out, gang. Like, the thing is, though, I'm not sitting up here getting called a fucking pedophile and like doing this and talking about I'm broke and then trying to use other people saying, well, if I'm broke, Mike Tyson went broken. This but honestly, Kevo, do you think like we, for that to pop out of nowhere with this little girl and we kind of really, really know them, honestly, it's hard for me to even repeat that shit because I, I know that's some bullshit. That's, no, that's I kind of think it's some cash that's, shit though. That's them know. not having no other way to get no money from the boy. They've been trying to get money from him for the last two years, remember? Yeah. So I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe it. Uh, that part right there, I don't even want to even... I, I ain't going to put that on them. If he did, then it, they should have been saying something, and then they should get him locked up and all type of shit. You know what right. I'm saying? And then, like like my friend said, motherfucker sitting there watching royalty talk about the shit. She's emotional. She ain't... She ain't you'll be going crazy if you found out somebody touched your daughter and touching your daughter and played us out some millions of dollars. This, look, there's another thing, though, gang. He was talking about the jury saying, man, yeah, you know, I don't got to wear jury. All these big-time people don't be wearing jury and this and that. Now, if you're going to think that, about that, it like... That's excuse, Kevo, because he know people yeah. like you and CJ... Y'all know the business, like nigga. You why would you if you we ain't never got to sell those. You can throw this shit in the closet and leave it back up for years if we want to. Like what? what you sold that shit because you need to sell. It. My you thing is that jury like, they need to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he this need to sell point. a jury, like if he need to sell a jury to come back up or do some shit, at least he had the that's upgrade. The jury really or something. This nigga talk a lot. <laughs> It gotta be for a reason. It can't be just because you're selling it because it ain't. Yeah, no, nah, because you, you just been broke. Now you just, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, don't do it for that. You gotta do it like. You I guess his name, some, big but, folks. I mean, I, I wish CJ so cool, well, but I know he a backstabbing ass type friend. I know he's jealous of you. And I ain't gonna, it, it, it is jealousy. It, it's nothing else because it's like, why Kevin ain't fell off in none of these years? Well, why Kevin won't go through this? Well, why he don't have to go? He wanted them. Like I remember, I used to, I used, y'all yeah, was like, like, I, yeah, yeah. He be like, man, I why CJ? I talked to CJ the night he got shot up. The night that CJ got shut up, I was on the phone with him for hours right before then, and he was crying on the phone like, well, why it is? And well, my friends are turning their backs. Why they not being strong with me while I'm going through this with Royalty? And I had to remind him, like, Kevin went through something, nigga, and you bagged away from him. You was acting like you don't even know this Yeah, he was like, the nigga tell me, he like, he was like, man, bro, it's not a good look for my career and yeah, all this. Yeah, he said well, shit nigga, like that. Then got upset. Well, 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 nigga, ain't a good look for my career then, nigga. Right, you know like, I don't want to be involved <laughs> in your personal family business, nigga. Exactly. So that's how you got to look at that shit, though. Like, folks ain't even, he only really about himself, really, though type shit so that's really how i just look at it like this though man like i don't look i don't i'm not in this shit to compete with no i'm not into it to compete with people or anything like that like i still me i feel like but like, like i always tell I you like, about your little youtube friends your little friends you run around with the little rich coolness and that i've been telling you that like i look at it like this like they yeah they learn from you and you go and teach them a, another level and go up another level but it'd be like they still looking at you like they want to pass you up and it's a lot of them and yeah, yeah no, like, i'll be looking at it like no matter what how people look at it like and it may not work for them. But then so, they're going to be sir, finesse or jealous. And, can you let him talk? God damn. But why this work? I feel, like niggas, like, I just feel like, like niggas is jealous because, bro, <laughs> I came on YouTube, took over YouTube, and then I'm super wave known. You never see niggas on blogs. You never see niggas like, like major. The niggas not getting $100,000 to hang out with them. Niggas is not like, niggas not getting million dollar contracts and stuff like that. And I feel like it's more of that type of jealousy type of thing. Well, I didn't that's say that nigga, Anton, Anton Daniels. That's, I watch this shit every day. 
that's what I just said was uh watch y'all so you gotta get up on food. He cold. Oh yeah, he was just talking about that shit. He be following you. Yeah, I'm just this this basically what I'm saying. I just feel like bro is more mad because even like I I still be getting big deals, you know, all types of big deals and stuff like that. And I just feel like he's outside looking in and seeing a nigga shine and just mad about it and being Yeah, because whatever whatever he remember when he ran out when Royalty and all this shit was over, he thought he was winning with Lexi and Lexi was taking him over to this billionaire house and over this millionaire house and this shoe deal and that deal. What happened to all his deals? I heard I got a phone call saying this nigga calling John Monopoly trying to get some type of guidance, cracking up, talking about he fell off and he trying to get back down. He just calling anybody for help. Man, it's over with, gang. Them shoes is trash. I'm sorry. Like he says, man, he did only, reason, only reason I say it's over because you still got to be a businessman first. I think God punished him for not he giving them kids half that money like he's supposed to. Because in reality, while she chasing talking about some bullshit ass, uh, the, the little girl got touched in this and that with, with people around him, even they know, like she could barely say it out of her mouth. Nigga, y'all should have taken on the court about that channel for your kids' likeliness, dumbass. It's like, and also, y'all got to, people got to realize when it comes to this shit, though, man, niggas got to have real investments. Niggas don't got no investments. All the cars and all that stuff, that don't mean meaning nothing. Even with the You the one who told him about the cars, and then he did sell them, though. Like, he was listening to you. A lot of shit that he did, that was why he listened. You come around, he got a bunch of big, goofy ass Chevys that he didn't put 50,000 in. Bullshit, man. Like, a barrel that ain't worth 30,000. He didn't put 40,000. Like, man, it's dumb it's shit. It's like, where the business is at? Like, show, show some M's in the account. I'm just like, where the end, like the money that he got, I'm like, I was kind of shocked because when he showed like an M or two in his account, I'm like, that's it? That's all you got in your account? And it's kind of like, it's well, like. He can do stupid shit though. Like, the nigga keep all that money in his house. I think that's why it, if he claimed a royalty, tried to set him up and this and that. The nigga definitely did a lot of dumb shit with money, like buying designer every day. And I only reason why I'd be like, probably she probably sent him up for dinner because he known to keep a large amount of cash in his house before that shit happened to him. You know what I'm saying? So everything CJ going through is damn self inflicted, bro. Man, yeah, I don't know. This it sounds weird, bro. You gotta be smarter though with this shit though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is de definitely self inflicted. <laughs> All the prostitutes that, that you know what I'm saying that, that he that he uh hid at his house and shit. Whatever happened to the little girl Tata? Remember her? Damn, what happened to her? One of his uh You know they all be inboxing me and shit. Like most of all the girls that he was messing with, they be inboxing me and shit. Damn, CJ. You know? So what? What you you was close to him and doing bit like what? What you think is his problem? Why he falling off? Like seriously? Because what? what I, I mean, like we he, understand about the channel with the kids. I feel, like like he, that. I feel like he worried about too much of what's going on with people. Like he he's in he, he in competition, and then he's he was too he was too tied up with uh, royalty. And I don't really th to be honest, I don't really think it was like just the kids. I think he really wanted royalty back more than more than anything. But that's why he he did what he did with the kids so much. Like he really, really wanted that relationship to last because he feel like with that relationship and that kid's channel, that's what kept his money came coming in. You know what I mean? But that's gone, so that shit goes down by by royalty leaving. He, she just took away like eighty percent of his bag. You know what I mean? So it's over with. And then the nigga that she was in competition with, you know what I mean? Like think about it. Uh, him and CJ on Thirty Twos was was always together. CJ on Thirty Twos stayed focused, and look, he passed him up. You know what I mean? Crazy. And you know CJ always for some reason for some reason when I met CJ so cool he thought he was like kind of like more famous than me maybe with kids but not with niggas with money yeah with adults dude. like you know, <laughs> nobody would pay this nigga no fifty thousand a hundred thousand he wasn't getting big contracts he wasn't known everywhere he went just like he wasn't never on no fucking blogs he never was on World Star never was on Say Cheese never was on none of that shit that nigga was just a regular YouTuber nigga you know what I mean so right. I feel like he was jealous about a whole lot of shit like that you know what I mean like he wasn't like superly known and every time we went somewhere. Um, and people was coming up to me, kind of was getting jealous about that. So he uh, I see now CJ on 32's views. Yeah, I see now. He was, he one of the type of niggas, he'd rather not even have you around because he don't want nobody to see that you're more famous than him type shit. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just happy. I, I, like I'm said, just happy. I never needed impression though. Like, so I, I don't know. Like, I see everybody on, but he, he's starring shit. I see D-Lo on his ass, you on his ass, fucking um, CZ on 32s, Royalty got all this shit going on, like his world. What d right now, like, yeah, He's like, you know how weak man he is. His ass down there, man. But imagine, imagine using this black girl for her kids and running to this white lady, though. Well, I mean, mm, mm. I was talking to somebody about that today, and they was like, they, they, you know, a black woman, they hate that. Like, he ran to, made the money off the black lady and her kids, and then ran to the white woman trying to get his life straight. <laughs> What the mm -hmm. fuck? What you, what you think about that shit? Oh, shit. I don't know, bro. I mm -hmm. just... No, me. I'm still just getting to the bag, man. They so focused about these girls and all this other yeah. shit. Bro, that shit gonna come slowing down. And I'm telling you, man, everything is documented on YouTube. So when you want to be a YouTuber and you want to sit on here and show this and show that, one little dumbass mistake, man, that's why you just got to be careful with what you do because once these niggas be putting all this shit out and one little mistake catch up, you fucked off. 
And now you got to sit up and make a million videos about this and about that. And that's the funny thing. That's why I was telling people yesterday, just keep watching. Because to me, I, I just personally think the shit only going to get worse. You know what I mean? That's that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's going to come out. It's going to just keep getting worse because it's like, as he, like I said, he don't really like to see nobody doing doing that good. That's why even you don't even pay attention to when he had, when he was following a certain amount of people, then he started unfollowing everybody. Uh, he started unfollowing a lot of the rappers yeah. because he used to sit around and be like, like they had too much for him and he didn't want to see that. So now um, CJ So Cool posting receipts, I guess. You got to think about Well, I, I want to see how these accusations turn out on me with this little girl shit. I don't like that shit. They kill me saying accusations. Yeah. That shit, like that, that shit just was so left field out of nowhere, G. Like, what the fuck is going on with that? But mm -mm. CJ losing it, man. I don't know, but I know one thing about me though, CJ. The good thing about it, because I see somebody said CJ put me on, or if C he airs, no way CJ put me on. He didn't do nothing for me to help. No, me. When, when I watched that when he, when he didn't say he put you on. He, he said he was talking about CJ on Thirty Twos. Oh, I was gonna say airs, no, no way. He, he never, he never, I he never, never, said I never like needed no CJ so cool ever. It sounds like ever. he's mad at you because you didn't help guide his money more personal. Like you didn't, you didn't. Why the hell is well, 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 he should have paid? So, well, he I guess you wasn't telling him the investments and the money, what you was doing with your money, and he taking his money doing silly yeah, shit. Yeah, but he handed somebody five hundred, somebody two hundred, and this and that, and just like, well, forget it. I was just, I don't know what he was just talking this about. This is my thing, yeah, though. I'm not finna. I'm not. This is my thing. When I was telling him what to do, he the nigga don't listen. So it's like I'm not finna sit here and overly, you know, be in your ear about what you should do smart with your money when you don't want to listen to me. Well, continue to listen to royalty and all the rest of these motherfuckers, because that ain't my problem to tell you something. It ain't like you really paid me. I'm coming around telling you, hey, even D-Lo was telling the nigga, man, get into this, get into that, put your, put your money into credit, put it in the business credit. He wasn't listening. He just wanted to make sure, oh, man, you know, I want to do this for royalty. I want to do this for the kids. I want to do this for this. I want to, all right, well, shit, that shit catch up to you. It don't mean nothing, you know? Yeah, so. Mm -mm. Damn. Child, I'm over here. Yeah. He was looking. Right he was. I'm over here looking at these receipts and shit. Child, this is a lot. Every time they go through it, though, it's a lot, and it be lasting for like a month. I'm learning from you for a minute, y'all. Like all them, did they go back? But one thing I'm gonna do is get that coin. So we shall. Well, you, your own being was going out there and this and that. Y'all wasn't going out there to hang out. Y'all was going out there plotting, teaching them shit. Him and CJ on 32. But it was, but shit. it was, a, it was both, always. Both their incomes came more higher when motherfuckers left them out there uh, dealing with them. Damn, they're giving them a free mentor. Yeah, but you got to think, though, like, with, as far as with CJ, bro, it's like he he got his own mind, though, so shit, at the end of the day, it's whatever, you know? It's whatever, shit. It ain't too much of shit. Yeah, you got I mean, I wish I don't wish no bad on him, but he ain't the type of friend that you, that you want. Like, that nigga, CJ, something else, man. Man, that nigga used to see me go shopping, man. They'd be like, man, man, how much you spent in there? I go to the Mary store. He'd be like, damn, man, I need to now. I got to No, remember through. he started grabbing the same fist like you? Yes. I'd be like, this nigga <laughs> trying to look like me. That's, that's how I knew. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a real influencer. This nigga really trying to look like you me. Like, 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 you like, like, you like, like, I'm like, hey, it, it was to the point where, like, that's how I knew. I'm like, okay, cool. I already spent, like, three, four million in clothes. Now, look, I'm going to let you go ahead and do it. I already did it already to the maximum. <laughs> three, four million in clothes? You know what I mean? Now it's time to say it. Now it's time to say this shit. Cause it's like my thing is though, my thing, this is the funny part. He tried to do it, and when I did it, I made the blogs. When he did it, he didn't make no blogs. So he was irritated from not getting like notarized from it. It was like you're going to spend a million dollars or two hundred thousand or a hundred thousand on clothes. What's talking about when he was going through shit? Huh? Which which talking about he was going through the shit royalty? Yeah, he was trying to buy, keep up with me, like with the clothes and then this and that and oh, stuff like yeah, that in Missouri. Yeah. Like let's say if you go buy a chain, like he like he went to go get that CJ so cool chain. It didn't even fucking matter. It didn't hit one blog. World started to pick it up. No blogs picked it up. I go buy a chain. Every blog picked it up. And he was jealous about that. He was like, why ain't nobody picking up my chain, nigga? Because you're normal. You're just a fucking YouTuber. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, you're not a real celebrity, gang. Like, your ass just a YouTuber for kids. So that's what he was more mad about. He'd be like, bro, how come they ain't pick my chain up? I got a chain uh, with my whole face on it with the YouTube sign. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he was more jealous about that. And that's what made me just say, oh, yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> CJ, man. Nah, CJ been going through it. One of us did go in this house, try to, like, I think it's royalty. I still don't like her. I still mm -hmm. don't fuck with her. And it is like, he should have been settled things, but he should have just cut them a check. No, That's the thing with, with that. Shorty gonna definitely uh, bring them down to the ground, for sure. She's trying her best. She couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't, well, I ain't gonna put that on what happened in his career, but she, he said that she had it done. Yeah. He said it from day one. He said it from the hospital. Mm hmm. 
So I, if you know how that go, you can't do that. You're going to keep trying another way. I, but just remember this on YouTube, y'all. People going to watch you upgrade, and then they're going to see you in this nice house, and they're going to see you stunned and this and that. And then when they watch your next YouTube video, they're going to see they're going to see you doing this, 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 and this. Because me personally, like, even with the cars, like, I didn't even understand like the whole concept. I don't like people that don't believe in God. I don't really fuck around like that. Yeah, we make sure. our money. We make our money believe in God and do what we want to do. Okay, no demonic spirits, and we don't believe in all that goofy shit, royalty, and no mama. It was so, it was so crazy. It was whatever spirits they was pushing on CJ made CJ run so far from them. When we was in LA, remember he didn't want to go back home then. He yeah. did some wild shit. He told he told Destiny as like, now I want to get you pregnant. I want you to replace Royce. I gotta get away from them. Damn. He wanted to get away from yeah. the lady. But you know, but, you know, but the thing is though, how can you how can you run a business or manage money or anything if you just blame everybody? If you don't take accountability, you you're gonna be like, Well, uh, I just hit a hundred thousand, but um, you know, royalty, she said she needed this and she needed that and the kids and this and that. So like like basically something like they put a gun in you and made you do it. That's that's his problem. That's why he is always never get to where he needs to, because he don't always think like that. He gonna play the blame game type shit. And he's so caught up in his YouTube shit, the YouTube shit draining him because that's his only source of income. You know what I mean? Like he don't got no other incomes. That's what's that's the that's the that's the downfall to the shit. Man. And he's sick at me. He I know he mad at me because he feel like damn, bro, got all this bread. I ain't even and I don't got nothing to do with it. So with the channel that he sold for the seven so seven percent of, what he do on that channel now? Really nothing or what? I mean, he do little videos and shit, but that shit weak as hell. That shit down out because nobody too much care. You can only do so much on the channel before they be like, man, this shit yeah, boring. Yeah, plus if you got eight million subscribers and six point five million. Or you react to relevant shit every day. I was kids, shit. Niggas, only thing that he, only thing that I'll say, if he want to put some more money and get back into it, he might as well get back into doing that raffle shit he was doing. <laughs> That's his best bet right now. Get back into the raffle shit, buddy. That's because that's the only thing that he really when I first met him, that's what he was into. So he might oh, was cash on that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's what that's his best bet. Otherwise, he's gonna be fucked off. Cause that's what he kind of known for. Cause when I met him, that's what he was doing, right? They told me what's up with CJ hate. Everybody hates CJ. Motherfuckers. If people only really know, like behind closed doors, who be helping who and who be really keeping motherfuckers mental together, these niggas ain't going no therapists and all that. Niggas be dealing with millions of dollars, losing it, fucking with wild ass bitches, setting them up, doing all type of wild shit. Niggas going through real stressed out ass shit with nobody to talk to. So I know CJ probably is kind of like losing it a little bit, but then he has a blame game problem. Like he's gonna blame yeah, everybody. He's, problem. he's blaming all his so-called friends for everything that he's going through financially. But you and CJ 32 ain't going through that. So I like. What did y'all do to him to make him go through that? You ain't sold your channels. Right. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, niggas just going through it, I guess. But, you know, he going through it, but then he saying a little sneak this and that shit. Like, he really want a motherfucker to start talking. Maybe this to help this channel go back viral. Because I seen him say that, too, that the people that got his channel told him to keep doing what he's been doing these last couple of days. Because I guess it's making this shit go up back getting into it with CJL32 talking about this shit with you. and I, I, I will keep going back and forth with niggas. I guess that's what he want to do. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just give him probably like a few little 20, 30,000 maybe he needed something. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, I just didn't never understand the whole concept of everything. Renting these houses and going to get all these cars and all that shit for no reason just to, you know, and not really have no real assets was pretty stupid to me. But I just look at it like, I guess, yeah, just keep continue to, you know, do what you do, I guess. You know what I mean? But no, I, I see what Ed's trying to say, man. CJ, CJ a smart dude, but CJ an emotional little nigga. So he'll let his emotions override all the smart shit that he need to be doing. Like right now, he could be what happened to the gym shoe deal? What happened to all this shit? He had shit lined up. Gym I had shit lined up for CJ. So so if gym shoe was CJ too much of his feelings to go take care of business, he is gonna fall off and hit his face and he ain't gonna be able to bounce back because it's hard to bounce all the way back. CJ and so, CJ ain't like got no real estate shoe. laying around his bitch like that to bounce back on. We was telling him what we was telling him. We told him go buy land. Niggas buying land in Chicago, buying lots of two hundred thousand by the Barack Obama Center. Niggas buy that land and build on that shit, you gonna make millions. Hello. Niggas don't wanna listen. Yeah. No, nah, that's the thing though, bro. Like he he could get back on. It's just the point of like, I don't I don't really see it unless he comes with the approach where we told him like, man, go hire an agency with kids and work your same magic. You know what I mean that you did with royalty kids because those weren't your kids any damn way. So if you can work the way you work somebody else's kids, you can work with anybody kids. You just attaches yourself to this lady so hard and then and, and, and enforcing this friendship thing in your mind and making it seem like everybody's just this and everybody's just that. And getting jealous of people and worrying about this and being into God. Like, how the hell are you in competition with D-Lo and D-Lo works for you? That's what was going on. I hated it. I used to be like, bro, why don't you give D-Lo this and give D-Lo that and just... No, he used to be saying that shit. Like, say, remember, remember he brought D-Lo to look Chrysler? <laughs> like, he was so happy to get that? Yeah. He like, yeah, but, <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm saying, though, man, a man used to work so hard day and night and do so much for him. And I used to be just looking like, man, you got a, like an asset here. But he was just 
he was just always he'd throw you off for like like let's say uh he'd be like yeah I got to man I can't chill man because you know I'm trying to get my family together and this and that and then next thing you know he'd call you in a week and be like man yeah royalty's back smoking pounds of weed and I got to spend six thousand dollars a week on weed and and this and that and this like just making like, I'm like, oh, smoking like, that much weed hear that shit you feel me so it's kind of like it was kind of like that when it came to that you know. So that's what that's where that really came from, though, gang. It was just like, man, this nigga didn't really know how to really move that right way. But I don't know, bro. No, he definitely bounced no back, though. I see what he said about uh, the people trying to get the seventy percent. Well, some of the some some of the percentage back on the seventy percent of his channel, so he can start dropping exclusive content on that and on his new channel. So if he can work his number, he can work his number. But what are he gonna do without the kids? No, I'm saying he gotta go hire an agency with kids, gang. You gotta take this shit to the right way, the right level. And then as far as the loan. Mm-mm. Well, damn. Thousand dollars for four hours, and this. Oh, he complained about that. He he, he said something about that on his, on his little vlog, talking about renting boats and doing all this shit. He was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna throw her a crazy party. I'm going crazy in Miami, so I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm going to meet you on the water. So CJ had like a, what a, I think he had like a, what a 15, a hundred and... Oh, you're like talking, about, you're talking about Royalty birthday party. Yeah, we he had a hundred and fifteen. Yacht, yacht. And <laughs> then I put on the side of him. I put on the side <laughs> of him with, with my yacht type shit. And this nigga was like so salty about the shit. But he no, got I like, remember Royalty and all the friends, they crossed over to our yacht and started party on our yacht because we had all this shit on the jacuzzis and all that shit. Yeah, that's how shit. So it was like, and, and, and you got to remind you, I'm not on no competition fake shit or anything like that, but it was kind of like the way that I know how he is, you have to come like that because he's the type of nigga, like if you pull up with anything smaller, he's going to try to hate on you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a super hater with shit. So with him, you have to stay ready. You have on your P's and Q's because that's why I keep millions in the shit we need to know we can't even know no y'all trying to cap on me gang. I can go buy all these fucking weak ass cars all this but but see if I was on that if I was an asshole like how he is then I could just be but I don't really do that I had to be humble it'd be humbly doing it you know now, what I mean see, see, CJ is a little asshole and I used to tell him I go around like you ain't gotta be no well, I'm like gang he's a little too cocky yeah, everybody got money around the, around him and he still has to find somewhere he's big well I got way more subscribers then they got to tell him yeah cause you got a, a, a thousand million kids on your shit nigga yeah they did right. you know people be like man why y'all kicking the white down you know the funny thing about it is that they grew up I mean well not grew up but they was around him most everybody who he's around when they are down he talks the most stuff go back and watch some of his old videos when he's talking about like the kids shoes or if he's talking man. about Elo, if he's talking about any of the people that's down he's going to talk shit about him it's the same thing but the dumbass fans don't be understanding when 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 he does it it don't matter but if you do it to him it, like it all was going to come back anyway because yep. you got to stay humble in this uh, shit. that's a fact Sundays, talking about, man, we from chicago nigga. what do you think the first conversation was had when we went around cj and all these millions was around motherfucker kevo was up there in the 10 that nigga cj then the way yeah like he was up like 12 m's or some shit Omi was up crazy m's and cj on 32 what conversation you thought niggas was sitting around having youtube conversations nigga buy land okay. buy shit buy everything them niggas want to buy cars we from Chicago. We know better. We've been having cars since we was teenagers, nigga. Yeah. We've been having cars and all that shit. We know we know to go buy the real estate. Go buy the land. We ain't buying nobody old beat up houses and no three, four thousand dollar crib and none of that shit. Hooking. Nah. Go buy the land. Own the land and do what you want to do on that motherfucker. All right. So motherfuckers is definitely telling CJ to do that shit. Was telling everybody, man, buy land. Buy big ass projects together. Buy all type of shit. Niggas was too busy in competition. Trying to make sure they try to win more than another nigga, not knowing shit. Kevin been having money way before the internet that even knew about him. So that that wasn't even the that's not even a subject about the money. Yeah. It was about like motherfuckers really went around CJ really helping coach him because CJ really didn't have nobody around him. He had big Al around him, handed him hundreds of thousands of dollars and digging like for no reason. For no fucking reason. Yeah. And then after he takes the money he didn't from need somebody, CJ money. CJ ain't give motherfucker a dollar for what? Ever, ever, never got a dollar what? from the nigga, never got nothing, never, never did, never, never helped, never helped, nothing. My YouTube didn't grow off the nigga, none of that. So I don't want nobody to ever think that it, oh man, you got around CJ. Nothing happened with CJ, bro. It was only, to be honest, to be, Coach let's be a thousand percent honest. It was literally that, really consulting him and telling you him wanna be a, You want to be a thousand percent honest, bro? It was D-Lo, D-Lo and Royalty. D-Lo and Royalty. D-Lo told Royalty 
that man, hey, we need to get around this guy right that here. That's ain't that young, my man. CJ ain't that young. Look, they was the like, age. look, they was like, yeah, uh, they was like, man, y'all need to get around, dude. Dude know everything about credit, this and this and that. As soon as I got around or whatever, he was like, man, bro, you think you help me with my credit, man? And it was, he was, it, when I came around, it was like, he wanted me to like do everything for him because he, like, he felt like he was famous type shit. And I'm just like, uh, he, okay, he, had the, he definitely had the big head. He definitely wanted y'all to know that he was the more of the celebrity. He had the most fun. He got the big head with everything. Now he don't. Now he's being humble real bad. But he had the big head so bad. And it was just like, bro, every chance he got, it was so stupid. And then my what thing did, is, though, what, what but, but this did. is what I'm saying, though. I understand that. But this is what I'm saying. When we went out, I had the adults. He had yeah, you, the, you get, the adults were walking to you more. The, the ones who paying money, the ones that paying money, the ones that know about credit, the ones that know about investing. Yeah, yeah. The kids is this nigga is we're exhausting talking. to talk to. He made it for sure. We're talking about the people. I'm ready to get off of this because he's so exhausting. Ooh. So when people were coming Let up to me, me talk. they were coming up to me like, "Oh, what's up, Kevo?" and this and that, and how he looking like, "Oh shit, damn, damn, bro, you is famous," and this and that. I'm like, "Duh," like you know what I mean? And I'm like, "Oh, you you gonna be on blogs?" Oh, oh. then he felt too big. Oh no, I don't follow any blogs. I don't I don't know this person. I don't know I that remember, person. Yeah, I remember. I don't want to interview like, him. And like reach out to CJ for me. That nigga like, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really do interviews. I'm like, okay. Right? Trying to be too cocky. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah, so I'm then, the same people that they can get you big ass deals, two, three, four, five million dollar deals, but you you're, you're cocky for no reason. Like no reason at all. What you gonna just, you know what I'm saying? Like it didn't even make sense. Cause I'm just like, you got a kid fan base. You're going to get old as hell. Sooner or later, you're going to have to lock in with some of these smart motherfuckers who got connections anyway. So pretty sure you got to day. deal with adults in the adult world and do adult things. Damien's, I'm done with this. Damien's CPM is over a hundred dollars. Should have stayed cool with him. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm exhausted by watching him interrupt him. I cannot do it anymore. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I don't believe the CJ thing and him touching Jalea at all. Uh, and that's where I'm at with it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.